paper I had. So as you guys can see, this is a Libra singles reading. So we're going to get straight into it, see what's the vibes, see what spirit has for you guys, my Libra singles. Shout out to you guys. I seen you guys my the night. So let's see. What's the overall energy to my, my Libra singles here at this time? We have ready for love, okay, as the overall energy. So you guys are ready for love. You've been guarded, but no, let's get some love now, all right? You definitely could have been hurt. Maybe you're feeling like you're going to get hurt again. You could be scared. But it's like now you're ready. All right, Libra Single, so let's see. Now I'm channeling, I am ready for love. I think that's, is that in the IRE? It's somebody. Let's see, what's going on with Libra Singles? Ready for love, yes. Ten of Wands, right. So I feel like there's your guard, there's your boundaries, there's your uh, protection, how you were blocking yourself, okay? Because of things in the past. I feel like the past may have been like your motivation for this guard, this blockage. It's like, I'm going to block them out by all costs. And for some of you here, you could be really attractive. You could have like lots of people that has lots of passion for you. What's up with Libra single spread? What you want me to know? Queen of Pentacles, okay? <clears throat> For some of you here, you could definitely be a mom, okay? You could be feeling like you're guarded, protecting yourself, protecting your children, okay? Maybe thinking about sex like you do, but it's not as important, I feel. It's like you're more focused on your money. judgment okay so libra energy right and it's like this guard that you have created and put up um is basically like calling judgment on the past the karmic things that you went through okay maybe family issues things that happen um with your mom for some which can create blockages as well around love in general right let's see so let's see about this block, this guard, this ten of wands, okay? Right, the five of wands and the fool. So it's like there was definitely conflict here. For some, definitely family shit, okay? For some of you here, it's like maybe you're like a new mom, okay? You could be blocking out love. Maybe you're on this new journey as a new mom. Maybe there was conflict around it, drama, okay? That could have caused you to create a blockage as well. But I feel like you guys are having this new beginning. It's like you're ready now. And you guys can have like, for some of you, you can have a loyal person on your heels, right? Let's see. Clarify judgment for me, please. What's going on with this judgment energy? It's like, I feel like you're like the angel calling judgment on everybody, okay? We have the nine of wands, right? Exactly, like having your boundaries up, protecting your energy, judging things, judging people, judging the past uh, situations that you had in regards to love. Right, holding back, being possessive. Maybe, like, not wanting to extend yourself, extend your energy. Oh, he's stepping on them pentacles. Is making me think of that song by Chris Brown, Addicted. <laughs> that I was playing in the live uh, yesterday. What's this for, pentacles? Right, look, the Ace of Cups. So it's like, when it comes to love, maybe you guys are just more like 
again, really holding back. Definitely could have experienced some type of heartbreak, Libra, here that causes you to do this. Okay, definitely could have gotten juggled in the past. So it definitely, just the drama of it all. What would you like the Libra singles to know? Going against the grain. So maybe for some of you here, it's like maybe holding back is like kind of going against the grain, especially if you want love. You have to be open to receive it. All right. It's like, let me extend this overflowing of love, abund uh, abundance of love to you here. You got the right one. Right. So for some of you here, Libra singles, it's like it's making me feel like if you've been heartbroken and you want love, it's like you might have to go against the grain to get it. So take it as it resonates to you. Right, it's like getting the right one requires you to go against the grain for some of you here. Maybe to be judged in a way. Messages for Libra singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or Libra placements, Libra singles. Wild thing. Right, you make my heart sing. You make everything groovy. Yeah, so maybe like in the past, <clears throat> you could have been dealing with someone who was like really wild. They could have had hella options and shit. Competition, drama. And it's like you took those wands and all of that energy from the fighting and the drama and kind of built a wall with it. Libra singles, please. Messages. Make up to break up. Right. So maybe that's when you guys were like kind of used to drama, fighting, going back and forth. Um, and then making up with someone, having a new beginning. But still being guarded at the same time while you're doing that. And I really feel like you guys, it's like. For some, it's like, don't give up on love here. It's like, they want to extend a, a blessing, an overflow. But it's something here with you, like, really holding back. You have to release that energy here. Messages for Libra singles. Engagement. Your love life is descending to a higher level of commitment. So maybe for some of you, it's like maybe the next person that you date, maybe you will definitely be in an engagement with this person. It will be something that is going somewhere, okay? Libra singles. Healing family issues, right? Like I said, with the mom thing for some of you here, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents right so for some of you it's like maybe having a new beginning with your mom here could definitely help in regards to your love life here because that could be creating a blockage right it's like like i said in the beginning and it definitely could be for some of you so that's definitely confirmation here leave a single please This could be the one. Look, you got the right one. So don't give up. It is safe for you to love after some unrequited love, okay? So it's like, don't give up. And again, that card said, understandably guarded. So it makes sense, baby. It makes sense. It's like you protect your heart, but don't do so in a way where it's like you're creating a blockage, okay? Libra singles, sun, moon, rising, Venus, smoke, no. In regards to this overall energy, what are the messages here? Like Libra singles. Ecstasy, but it's in reverse. So for some of you here, you probably haven't been, you know, going to ecstasy. <laughs> Um, 
right? Maybe you feel like that would bring conflict, right? Engaging in sexual activity, right? This wild thing energy. Maybe you ain't, right? That's not what you're looking for here. So let's see. Disharmony and laughter. So, right, it's like you guys are creating a blockage, creating a disconnect yourself because of um, <clears throat> maybe a breakup. And for some, because it's something with your mom here. Laughter, the laughter shared between soulmates. So for some of you, it's like, and then past life. So for some of you, it's like once the blockage is removed, it's like you'll meet your soulmate. You'll meet the one. Give me one for going against the grain. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for some of you here, if you felt like someone was going against the grain, it's like that card was like, I'll never change. So take that as that resonates, especially if you're like heartbroken over that. And maybe you could have gotten into, the, gotten into it with this person, right? Don't play with me. They was going against the grain. It's like, you could have even been like, bet, you know? And it's like, that person, maybe they'll never change. So, take that as that resonates. Even if you do have like, some type of past life connection to this person. But again, Tarot responsibly. Give me one for going against the grain. <clears throat> excuse me complacent right so for some of you here it's like maybe you have gotten complacent a little bit with like maybe you feeling like getting your heart broken or things always not going the right way and maybe crying and feeling pain in regards to love it's like take a chance it's like you have to take a chance you are protected so just know that as well for some you could be um, being divinely guided at this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like if you find the video and you're watching it now, it's like, because, you know, all these readings are timeless. So whenever you find them is when you're supposed to find them. So I feel like this is time for you to release this blockage you have around love. So it's like, so your wishes could be fulfilled, Okay. What else would you like them to know about this blockage, my Libra single? Look, you coming out. Big fucking Libra energy. It's causing a disharmony here. Four swords. <clears throat> and I got a confirmation, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. It's basically like... Getting some rest, healing up, healing this part that makes you judge, um, like maybe yourself, the magician, right? It's like, go ahead and manifest this abundance of love because it's, it's right there waiting to be handed to you, right? You clearly see that waiting to be handed right to you. Right, clarifying the four swords, it's like then you heal and then you get love. This emperor that's going to give you all this love. You got the right one. You got the emperor, okay? This man that is mature, this man that's wise, business-oriented, right? He embodies all four kings in a deck. Okay, a feminine could be an emperor too. Don't get it twisted. But again, it's like in all of this love. And for the most part, it's like the emperor, his love is there. It's overflowing, but maybe not so much on the surface level for some. And for others, it could just be that. It could be both, okay? Because I do feel like an emperor may not show his emotions so much. Typically, because he's like more focused on the business side, protecting his family, <clears throat> 
right? A father figure, a leader, but still someone with a lot of emotion. So this, this person is definitely going to be someone that's very loving here, right? The right one. And also someone that's not going to play with you, okay? Anything else about this emperor? Five of Swords. So, cutting out the competition, giving you love, like, probably like you haven't experienced. Bringing balance. <clears throat> Page of Swords in reverse, clarifying the Queen of Swords. So I really do feel like for some of you here, it's like you've been so guarded. It's like maybe you guys haven't been like, um, maybe feeling like yourself or like if you're someone who's like very quick to learn or charming or witty, it's like maybe for some of you, it's like you haven't really been in that same energy. What's this Page of Swords? And definitely not looking. Ten of Swords clarifying. So it's like maybe releasing that. Focus more on work. Hanging with friends. Traveling here with friends. Working again. So it's making me feel like that Page of Swords is just like a more like I'm not even looking. Or I wasn't looking. What would you like them to know about this blockage? Nine of Cups. So for some of you, it's making me feel like a stubborn energy, like um, how this card could represent, right? Depending on the vibe. And the, the vibe is giving like selfish, arrogant, or just feeling like really stubborn, right? His arms is crossed. It's like maybe for some of you here, it's like... It's like those... Cups is just making me feel like you may be stubborn because maybe you get you've given your love multiple times on different occasions. And it doesn't even all have to be cups of love as far as like romantic partners. For some of you, it's like you're a very emotional, very loving person. So it's it's like giving stubborn with your love. It's like I have these cups, but I'm gonna protect them. I'm going to make sure no one can get to them. These are mine. This is my love. I'm maybe like being stingy, but again, blocking the love, right? Because that's another uh, image. Of, it's making me feel like blocking love. And for some of you, it's like you don't want to block out like all of these cups, all of that overflow of love. Blocking your wish fulfillment. Uh-uh, brats. Y'all be acting bratty, but uh-uh, baby. Two of Pentacles, right? So it's like, it's coming from you guys being juggled. It's coming from you guys not being offered. Maybe the big offer, the marriage, um, the serious commitment, the happily ever after, right? It's like you guys have decided, like, Maybe to be more in this energy of, like, emotionally intelligent to the point where it's like, I'm hearing overbearing, so take it as it resonates. Someone could have said that to you if that resonates with you. If not, if it don't apply, let it fly. But it's like maybe with this justice and king of cups and strength, I feel like you've become, like, more emotionally strong, but... Again, to the point where, like, that Ten of Wands energy is, like, creating this blockage, this huge thing where you can't see, others can't see you. Maybe not even seeing how much you're blocking it out. Okay, so, let's see, y'all. Uh, what would you like them to know about these blockages? Use your discernment. So use your discernment because using your discernment, right, will help you avoid heartbreak. So let's see. What would you like them to know about these blockages? Dinner. So I really do feel like if someone asks you to dinner, maybe you should take a chance and go. If that resonates for you. 
So would you like them to know? Right. I feel like that energy in the past, it came out again right before I'll never change. So whatever that was in the past, it's like for some, that person is not going to change. Just accept it and move forward. So let's see. What would you like them to know about these blockages? Because imagine blocking out love for, for someone who's not going to change. It's like doing yourself a disservice doing that. What would you like them to know about these blockages? Second chance, right? So it's like, give this a, a second chance. Like maybe for some of you, maybe your goal was marriage. Maybe, again, it's like in this car, you could clearly see like, this looks like a setup for maybe a wedding, right? Possibly. So it's like, um... Right, this also could be like, yeah, it makes me feel like a wedding all the time. So it's like, take a second chance because maybe this one will be the marriage, right? The um, romance angels put out engagement. So take it as it resonates. Let's see, Libra singles. Let's see what the OG deck got to say. Leave your singles. What are the messages? The Empress in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you here, it's like... For some of you, that could have been a situation with um, someone you had a child with in the past. There could have been a codependent image energy there insecure type of vibe going on in the past whether it was this person or your energy right or however it's like maybe you guys could have <clears throat> maybe there could have been like something where you guys could have moved really fast maybe you guys had a baby like really fast or it's like maybe maybe the whole relationship just moved fast but it it caused um it caused like a blockage once there was like juggling or something here. Messages for Libra singles. Ten of Pentacles. Right, for some of you, maybe your family could have been involved in some type of way. Maybe you could have felt betrayed by them. And again, we had the mom thing. And for some of you here, maybe there could have been your family interfering with some juggling or had something to do with some juggling that could have caused you to also like maybe create this blockage here. Libra singles. Page of wands, right? <clears throat> so I really do. It's like it's now it's time for a new fresh beginning when it comes to passion. Okay, so what should they do moving forward? Since they're ready for love and aware of these blockages that they have removed or they're going to remove by working on it, right? What would you like them to know? Knight of Swords, right? So the fastest moving energy in the deck. So it's like move forward. Okay, move forward from feeling left out in the cold. Work on yourself, right? You're the empress. It's like move away from that energy. Get back into your empress energy. Love yourself. And then it's like you close out that cycle and then you have a new one. Filled with passion. Oh, and I oh y'all heard that one. Fill with passion. Could be with the Capricorn. So let's see. Let's get some advice from your spirit guides in regards to this love. Libra singles. And then we're going to wrap this up, baby. So let's see. Libra singles. Spirit guide messages from my Libra singles here. They ready for love. I keep hearing that song. We have Polar Bear. 
mystic it says know that challenges make you stronger have faith when you face adversity take time to rest dream and renew your strength embrace your psychic abilities you carry the shaman within so for some of you you could be a psychic you could be um a shaman you could resonate as a mystic okay and then it says hawk messenger spirit is sending you messages open your greater vision to see the signs focus on priorities and eliminate distractions you have a bright future let yourself ascend to new heights right so it's like you are getting messages right even this reading itself is a message so it's like you you guys will ascend to new heights in love but work on those blockages my girl my boy right and you some of you guys are very very intuitive very and for some of you again you could be mystics yourself messengers yourself so they want you to ascend to new heights in love, but let yourself. For some of you, you're blocking yourself. Let yourself. Especially if you know that that's something that you really want. Stop trying to control it. Stop being possessive around it. It's like, just let it happen here. Let's get one more. Advice for my Libra single, Sun Moon Rising. Venus, no, no, all placements, Libra singles. Puffin, partnership. So for some of you here, it's like, these birds always make me think of like penguins for some reason. So they say penguins mate for life. So for some of you, right, a soulmate, a mate for life. Um, Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So for some of you here, it's like maybe people in your community around you can help you. Um, again, it could be like mutual um, people that you guys know or someone they know may end up being your partner or something like that. But it's like if you guys were like maybe struggling a little bit with like feeling confident about being who you are, maybe your unique nature, whatever could have been bothering you if that's resonating with you, right? Because it's confirming to you that um, they want you to feel confident about being you. So that also helps draw in your, partner, your person for partnership because it's like, if you are yourself authentically, then the person that is for you the right one, right? They will be able to like, how do I want to say, to see you, right? Because it's like they see you for who you are, truly. It's like no facade, no game, no hiding. So it's like, okay, I can see that person as my person because I can literally see them for them. So be confident about being you, right? Because no one can be you like you, all right? That's your superpower. So Libra Singles, that has been your reading at this time. Thank you guys for joining me. I send you guys love and light, and I'll see you in the next one.